Today I'm going to show you a program called Google SketchUp that you can download free right from Google. Just type in sketchup.google.com to bring you to the website. Once you've downloaded it, you can create 3D models like I did here of this box. It's very similar to the uh, treasure chest project that my students make. Uh, they draw a very similar thing and they even add, an, add a lid to it too. You can put this in 3D mode and you can actually see through it also. Well, let's take this one off of here and I'll show you how to make a new one. I'll just select it and delete it. I'm going to use the uh, rectangle tool. And before I use it, I want to draw your attention down here at the bottom right. Dimensions. That's where I'll type in the sizes for the things that I'm going to be drawing. So right now I'm going to start at the origin. That's where the three axis or three dimensions meet, X, Y, and Z click. And while it's still stretchy, I'll type in 6, 5, because I want it to be 6 by 5 inches, and hit enter. Now it's just paper thin, so it doesn't have any thickness to it. We want to give this some thickness by using the push-pull tool up at the top. Click on it, and while it's still movable or stretchy, I'll type in the size. I want it to be half inch. Hit enter after I've typed in half inch. Now we can see that we have this. It would be like a board that's uh, 6 by 5, and I want to give some sides to it, so I'll use the offset tool right here on the left-hand side. Click an edge, and while it's still stretchy, I'll type in the size 1 half inch, hit enter. Now I've created a perimeter, and I'll use the uh, push-pull tool to bring this up. I want to make it 2 inches, so I'll type in 2, and hit enter. And there's the box. And of course I could go on to add more details to it, but that's all I want to take time to show you for today. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.